Previously on our channel, we took you on a tour of the lively Malasaña neighborhood, very close to the city center, and great place to do a little shopping of collectibles, from anime to comic books and everything in between. Now we'll show you some of our favorite new places to eat that showcase a diversity of restaurants beyond your typical tapas bar, starting with breakfast at this cozy Asian cafe with fluffy cakes and specialty sandwiches. It's our favorite cake, you know? It is my favorite cake. <laughs> I don't think I have to say anymore, but yeah, that's... That, that cake is really spongy. And the whipped cream is light fluffy. It has a really nice subtle strawberry flavor. You can't go wrong, this is why it's my favorite cake. <laughs> Okay. 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 Yeah, I, flavor. yeah, I really like it. It's not too sour. And again, when you cook it, it got like that, that uh, the spiciness, I guess, gets cooked down a bit, but it's really good. So for lunch or dinner, we recommend La Humuseria. They are known for their fresh vegetarian Middle Eastern dishes. So popular, in fact, that reservations are encouraged. And for that reason, it took us a while to finally try it. <laughs> you scared of dropping the thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually third time's a charm because we tried to come here the other, other two times and it was always either closed or too packed. So it's great that we were able to get in because we actually got a reservation. And we ordered their hummus and their alubias blanca, which is a really nice dish. So check it out. And some lemonade. So we also got it in which is kind of like pickled vegetables that you're going to use to eat your home. You're having a piece of bread. You're having some hummus. That's freshly made hummus. It's really good. I'm going to do a sandwich. Oh, you're going to eat and then you can put the pickled veggies on your little hummus thing there. And a little sandwich. Very good with the pickled veggies. It has like that sourness to it. There's some big beans. Yeah, those are big beans. Vegan, I think. Or vegetarian or vegan? One of the two. Even better. I don't know what it is, but it has tahini in it. Uh, it's like a coconut nest. Uh, yeah, it's like an angel hair nest. I mean, that a coconut, I think it was? Or flavored with coconut. Yeah, flavored with coconut. Tahini. And there's tahini drizzle. And there's a ball of ice cream. And there's two of them. I thought it was just going to be one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so I got a little bit of everything. I got some of the angel hair pasta, <laughs> some of the ice cream. Mm. Yeah, that's really nice. That crunchy and soft contrast with the ice cream. It tastes kind of like peanut butter. It's probably from the tahini, which is really good. Yeah, it smells like peanut butter. Next up is the younger, cheekier sister of La Humuseria, La Falafeleria, another colorful vegetarian cafe that is a bit more casual and with a slightly different, more street style type menu. Alright, so we're at the Falafeleria and uh, we had gone on a kind of like a mini tapas crawl and we ate a little bit too much, so we're going a little bit light for dinner. And uh, this place looks delicious. Let's check out my pita. It's so the... eggplant sabiche. What, what the hell is eggplant sabiche? Uh, don't know. It has eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> So what, happen, what, what happened to the falafel? You know what? <laughs> I, totally, I totally forgot to get it, but let's go with this. And if uh, we still have room for more, we can order some falafel. And what's the other stuff? And the other stuff is the baby hummus with shawarma, mush, like mushroom shawarma. Okay. So baby hummus with mushroom shawarma. Okay. And then we got the house lemonade and ice tea. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be messy. That's right down your alley, Luke. <laughs> That's fantastic. The eggplant is so creamy. What? Yeah, the eggplant is so so creamy, and I think it still has its skin, and I haven't been able to perfect that when I cook eggplant to get the skin to be just as soft. This is really good. Uh, let me take another bite. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Yeah, it has hard boiled eggs, yeah. But the eggplant, the eggplant is so good. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's your element. You like anything mushrooms. Right? I love any kind of mushrooms. Even the wild, you know, stuff that makes you loopy. <laughs> <laughs> Even those mushrooms. Magic mushrooms. That's fantastic. The hummus obviously is on point, super creamy, but those mushrooms, those that mushroom shawarma has all the shawarma spices in there. Just replace the meat with mushrooms. That's really good. Nice and tender mushrooms. That place was fantastic. We did not have a single falafel <laughs> because we ended up going with two of the other menu items that were really good. Yeah, they were really, really they good. They were really good, guys. But I do find it funny that the place is known for falafel. We didn't give grab not one, yeah. not a single <laughs> one. Maybe next time. Next time. That gives us another reason to come back. Yeah. We have one more place to show you on this food tour and that is 80 Grados. It's one of our favorite new places for drinks and small plates. And the menu again is not your typical tapas. They kind of have little twists on the classics and trust me, you'll want to try everything on the menu. This is one of their more well-known items here at 80 degrees. It's called Distinto de Verano. How could I not get it? It's like the Tinto de Verano. Different. <laughs> good? Uh, I'm gonna have to say that's the best one that I've had. Remember that? Um, that foam? It's like a lime foam. And then you have the Tinto de Verano flavor from from the drink itself is wild. Oh. Yeah, just cut off the Okay, I think I have to like... Press 
full pork? Nice. Okay, it's good. Nice. Okay. I got four of those. Obviously, the bread is toasted so you get that crunch, but the pork is really, really soft. It's really tender. And the mustard gives it a really nice touch. Like, a little bit of that, uh, tang. So this is the creamy gnocchi. Mm. It has, it's topped with parmesan. The gnocchi is really soft. You can get more of that potato texture from this gnocchi. But the cream is really nice. This is cream. So liquid. It's, just, it's very liquidy. Wow. I'm gonna have another one. <laughs> <laughs> So what kind of croquetas were they? Boletos. Mm. Get a really nice mushroom flavor. Very good crispy outer and very nice soft inside. Like almost liquidy. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's dig into the patatas bravas. And these are a bit different because they're like roasted instead of fried. Um, but the sauce looks really good, so let me get more of that sauce. The sauce. Yeah. The sauce is really good. The spice is good. Yeah, it's the sauce. Yeah. The spice is actually in there. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it without it. If we consider everything that we order and the level of detail they put on the dishes, the price was very much worth it. So if you do come to Spain, these are definitely four great spots to try to get a taste of the neighborhood. We really hope you enjoyed this little tour and do stay tuned for more videos in Spain. Neighborhood.